Hi, I'm Reggie from Stupid Raisins. In this video, I will show you how to freeze a clip using menu, using keyboard shortcut, and I will also show you how what is a hold segment and how it differs from freeze frame. In addition, I will show you how to unfreeze, how to make a stylus freeze frame. So let's get it on! Okay, let's start with the first method. So to freeze a clip, move the skimmer or your playhead to the frame you want to freeze. So this red line, this is your skimmer, and then this is your playhead. Okay, so as you can see, our skimming is activated right here. It's on to disable your skimming. Just hit S. Okay, so once you've disabled your skimming, your playhead will be the basis for your freeze frame. But if you enable your skimming, your skimmer will be the basis for your freeze frame. Okay, so once you've selected your frame, okay, let's select this one. I select this one so I'm just hit my left click so my playhead will be here okay and then go to menu then go to edit and then add freeze frame okay so that's our freeze frame so freeze frame clips have the same duration of your still image clips but I set my still image duration for one second but you can change it in our Final Cut Pro preferences and you can go to the preferences by hitting command and comma and then go to editing and then so you can see the still image so by default this is at four seconds but i change it to one second okay so that's your default freeze frame duration okay and then you can change the duration by going to the edge of the, the freeze frame so once you see this both arrows and then a film strip you can drag it to the right or to the left to make it shorter or you can also drag it to this side to make it shorter or longer okay or you can also select this freeze frame and then hit ctrl d and then enter the duration you want so this is your hours your minutes your seconds and then your frames so let's make it four zero four zero one so so if you entered the wrong duration just click on your timeline and then it will reset just click again on your clip or your freeze frame and then hit ctrl d let's make it four zero five and then hit enter okay so i'm gonna hit shift z to zoom to fit okay so i'm gonna hit space bar from the start so it freezes the frame and then place again okay nice right okay and then there's also a keyboard shortcut for freeze frame so i'm gonna hit command z to undo okay so let's go to our keyboard shortcut i'm gonna disable my scheming so we can be precise okay so i'm just gonna click and drag our playhead okay so it stays at that position because if you use our skimmer if i move my mouse the skimmer follows so will not be on the position you want to be okay okay so let's use our playhead for more precise selection so i'm gonna hit s okay so let's drag our playhead so let's select again a frame let's select this one okay so once you've selected a frame you want just hit option f okay so now it creates a freeze frame right here so as you can remember it's one second because our setting is at one second okay then just drag it to the right or left you want to make it shorter or longer let's make it two i'm gonna hit spacebar to play okay nice so our freeze frame is disconnected from our clip and so once you've created a freeze frame it cuts to that part okay so i now have a still image right here i can just drag it everywhere i want okay so this is just a continuous clip as you can see but it's cut on the freeze frame okay so now let's go to our next clip right here so i'm gonna select our clip and then let's select a frame we will use for our hold so right here okay so once you've selected the frame just go to retiming options button right here and then hold okay so it creates a hold segment and then it plays back to normal so by default a hold segment is a two second still frame to go to your hold just click on this word you can select any part of this hold and then as you can see our duration is two seconds okay so that's the default duration of every hold you will make okay so i'm gonna hit spacebar to see our clip okay to change the duration of the hold you can just so you have your handle right here just drag this to the right to make it longer or shorter to the left okay 
Okay, so to see the duration, just click the blank space. So we have a 6, second, and 18 frames hold segment. Or you can also click this arrow and then custom. And then you have your duration right here. You can change the duration here. So this is your hours, your minutes, your seconds, and your frames. So let's make it 305 and then hit enter. Okay, so our hold is now 3 seconds and 5 frames. I'm gonna select this blank space to highlight our hold. Okay, so it's 3 seconds and 5 frames. Okay, let's go to our next clip and then we will select a frame. Okay, this one. To add the hold segment, just hit shift H. Okay, then if I select the blank space right here, it's two seconds. That's the default duration of our hold. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit space bar to play our clip. Okay, so it's two seconds and then it plays back right again. Okay, and then you can also use a range tool if you want. So I'm gonna hit R to go to range tool. So the start of the range is the hold segment. So let's select this one, then left click and drag to the right. So the whole segment will be the start of the range, okay? Once you've selected the range right here, go to your retiming option bottom right here and then hold. Okay, so as you can see, our range is now a hold. So I'm gonna hit spacebar. Okay, and then you can just drag this handle right here to make it longer or shorter. Let's make it longer. Then I'm gonna hit spacebar. Okay, and then you can also smooth in the transition by clicking this arrow right here and then smooth and transition. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit space bar. See? So it creates a smooth end. It's not as abrupt like the previous one. So a whole segment is part of the clip. Unlike the freeze frame, this is not part of the clip. So you can just drag it everywhere you want. So the whole segment, you cannot just drag it everywhere you want. Okay, so it's part of the clip. Okay, I'm gonna hit Command R to hide a retime editor. So this is a one connected clip. Okay, Command R. So that's the difference of freeze frame and hold segment. Hold segment is part of the clip. The freeze frame is a separate clip. If this video has been helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so if you have a hold segment, you can unhold it by hitting Option Command R. And now it goes back to normal. Okay. So what about if you have freeze frame? So I'm gonna drag it in the middle of this part. Can you do the reset speed right here? So I'm gonna select these clips and then hit Option Command R. Nothing happens because this is a separate clip. So to unfreeze it, just delete this freeze frame. And then this is a continuous clip now. But you cannot connect this clip anymore. It's permanently cut. You cannot join it anymore. Okay? Or you can also, so once you've selected the freeze frame, gonna hit option F. So to unfreeze, you can just hit command and Z to undo your action. So that's one way to undo or unfreeze your clip. Now let's go back to our first clip. Then let's make a stylized freeze frame. Okay, now let's move our playhead so we can select a frame right here okay let's hit option f so we now have a freeze frame right here so let's make our duration to three seconds and gonna hit control d and then three zero zero okay so our freeze frame is now three seconds okay so let's go to our effects browser right here and then search for comic basic and then drag it to your clip or freeze frame okay and then search for hit Then drag it to your freeze frame. Okay. And then we will add a keyframe. So I'm gonna drag our playhead at the very first frame of our clip. So I'm gonna hit N to activate our snapping. Okay, so it snaps on the first frame. So once we are on our first frame, select this arrow right here and then add. And then go to the last frame and then make this 105. I added a scale keyframe to add depth okay and then go to your transitions browser and then go to all and then search for light noise and then drag it to in between of our clips okay and then so our transition is one second we will change the duration of our transition to 10 frames so i'm gonna hit ctrl d and then zero one zero 
so it's now 10 frames i'm gonna hit enter okay so our transition is now 10 frames so i'm gonna do it on the other side Control d 010 enter okay so now let's see how it looks nice right so you can just select our clip right here and then you can play with all the parameters here so customize it as you want okay 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 and then i'm gonna hit spacebar again oh yeah that's so nice awesome right so there you have it easy peasy thank you for watching and i hope you learned something today if you want to learn more, I've made a video about how to play video backwards in Funka Pro. Click here to check it out.